Matt Murphy here with Dave Cohn, again talking about productivity improvements. This has been a feature that's been in AutoCAD for a really long time and people have never used it. The group command. Yeah. Now the group command allowed you to select multiple objects so they acted like a single object, kind of like a block. Without having to create a block. Correct. Yeah, so here's a feature that it's been around in AutoCAD for a long time and people didn't use it because, I don't know, it seemed to be a little confusing. So the good news is that there's now a group panel in the ribbon and using groups and creating groups and manipulating groups just suddenly becomes a whole lot easier because I think the ribbon makes it more intuitive to understand what it is you're doing and then also the whole idea of when you move your cursor over an object in the drawing, if it's part of a group, you immediately see that it's part of a group and everything in that group highlights if you want it to. And this productivity feature is really for selecting objects. It's for selecting objects, and it's groups of objects, obviously, that you want to manipulate at the same time. And, you know, it kind of works the same way groups do in a product like Revit. So there's some logic involved now. Okay. Can you show me? Sure. Groups provide an easy way to combine drawing elements together that you need to manipulate as a unit. I'll zoom in on this office cubicle. Let's combine all of the objects in this office cubicle into a group. I'll click the Group tool in the Groups panel on the Home ribbon. The program prompts me to select objects. I'll simply select the objects I want to include in the group. I can use any convenient object selection method. Once I'm done selecting objects, I'll press Enter to complete the command. Notice that now, when I move the cursor over any object in the group, all of the objects highlight. And if I click to select that object, all of the objects in the group are selected, and I see a single grip at the center of the group. I'll press the Escape key to deselect the group. Notice that in the Groups panel on the Home ribbon, there is a tool called Group Selection On-Off. By default, this tool is toggled on, indicated by the blue background. When group selection is off, only the objects you choose are selected, even if the objects are part of a group. But notice that if I toggle group selection back on, if I move the cursor over any object in the group, they all highlight. And if I select any object in the group, all of the objects are selected. Of course, the chair is not highlighted because it wasn't included when I created the group. I can easily add it to the group. To do so, in the Groups panel on the Home ribbon, click the Group Edit tool. Since I already had a group selected, the program immediately prompts me to enter an option. Notice that one of the options is Add Objects. I'll choose that option. The program prompts me to select objects. I'll click to select the chair. Once I'm done selecting objects, I'll right-click. Now that I've combined those objects into a group, it's much easier for me to make copies of those objects. I'll use the copy command. When the program prompts me to select objects, I'll click on any of the objects I just copied to select the entire group, right-click to complete my selection, click to specify the base point, right-click and choose the array option, enter the number of items to array, in this case four, and then specify the second point of the array and that quickly I've made the additional copies. Each of these copies is a new unnamed group. Notice that if I move the cursor over any object in the group, all of the objects in the group are highlighted. But if I want to make a change to an individual object in the group, I can toggle the group selection off. And then when I click on an object, only that object is selected. Now I can manipulate that single object if I wish. For example, perhaps I want to rotate this chair. But again, if I toggle group selection on again, I can see that the chair is still part of the group.